and now the host of Entertainment Now, Gail Scott Key. Oh, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Gail Scott Key, and welcome to the show for Entertainment Now with my co host, Christina Millsaps and Richie Rich Mangia. You guys are in the house looking sharp as always. Love it. I love it. Thank you, Gail. Well, we want to remind our viewers not to forget to tune in and listen to the show on the following podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, Google, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Audible. That is so right, Christina, because you can take us on the go and we'll never be apart. So speaking of never being apart, I can never, ever stay away from our special return guest as, well, she's family to my show, to me personally, a dear friend, actress, singer, director, Alicia Joy Powell is in the house and she may look familiar to you. And if she does, well, it's because you've probably seen her in one of these hit TV shows like Desperate Housewives or, oh, The Mysteries of Laura, which is my fave. Oh, or perhaps maybe you've seen her in this. What is that? Ooh. Judas and the Black Messiah. If you have not seen this movie, you can rent it. It is on Amazon Prime. I've watched it. It's powerful. She's in it. And she's here. I'm so excited. Alicia Joy Powell is in the house. And she had a <laughs> recent audition. Where was it? What is it? I don't know. We're going to find out. How are you? I think I shook you a little too hard, didn't I? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's a lot going on today. What is it? I'm going to look outside and see. Is it retrograde going on? What's going on? That's what I was thinking. I mean, it seems like it. It feels like some retrograde. Is going. I don't even know what that means, but I just know it's not good. This means <laughs> computer failures, it. electronics, things go haywire. Oh, my God. Look at the hair. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, you have so much going on. I'm like, wow. You know, I, I see, I, I, I love, you know, Googling people before they come on. Everybody does the same thing, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm so curious, you know, what are you working on now? I think we're all like on pins and needles. What's going well, on? Well, we know that she had a recent audition, so. Well, no, I'm shooting on Tuesday um, with the movie with Jennifer Lawrence, um, No Hard Feelings. Um, what? What? Yeah. What? And, and you, my phone didn't ring saying, "Hey, girl, I need you to carry my um shoes." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you want to go on this one, Gail. We shooting in Montauk, and it would have been nice, like maybe last week, but uh this week, I don't know. That's it's gonna be chilly. Yeah. Right at the water. I don't know about Ooh. that. I got some clothes. I got some jackets, girl. I got it all. I don't know if I have clothes, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's cold right now. Like the weather just changed, and now we got to be at the at the the beach the whole time. I'm like, wow. Oh, wow. How long do you shoot a movie for? Is it like th three months? Well, it depends well, before, on... even, before you even do that, what's the name of the movie? I don't want to miss the name of the movie. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Yeah, it's a we comedy. Need that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it's a coming coming of age comedy. Oh, oh my goodness! So I'm yeah. sorry, my lovely coach. She was asking a very cool question. Go ahead. Well, well I have heard. Depends. Yeah. Yeah. How many? It depends. It depends oh. on um depends on the amount of pages. It depends on the role. It just depends. Yeah. So Jennifer Lawrence. Now, in all the time that I've known you. I don't think I've heard you ever being on the screen with her. So this is the first time. Is this correct? Yeah. I've never met her at all. Um, we had a table read um, and she was, you know, she was in and out. So we still haven't really met, met. I've met everybody else. And uh, a little fun fact, um, my dear, uh, lovely one, um, Robert, who was the hairdresser on Mysteries of Laura is on this project. And the funny part oh. is, is that he, he hit me up on Miss on um he hit oh. me up on uh, IG and he's like, oh my god, we're gonna be working together. And I was like, on 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 what? He's like, we're working on 
And he was like, well, didn't you get the part? And this, you know, no, that I heard your name. And I was like, I was so excited. Oh my God, it's going to be a thumb reunion. And I was like, they hadn't told me yet. And he had already hit me up on IG and said that they were talking about me. And <laughs> I cut the bag. Yeah, yeah, I the bag. Call my agent. And they changed the name of the project. So I was really lost. So I had to call my agent real quick and say, did I get this? Is this the name of it? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just called me. And I was like, okay, that's funny. That's so exciting to get to work with friends again. You know, or something yes. you work with before. Is that is that something that happens frequently in, in, in the film industry or very much so, especially with crew, because they just change addresses, you know. They just roll from one when I was on Bull, um, half of the crew for Mysteries of Laura was on there. Um, and you know, it did they just you know, they just kind of rotate um, you know, projects and stuff. So yeah, that happens a lot with crew. And I also I'm love it. I'm really, really it. blessed to get close with crew. I love. I I love it because it, you could have said another actor or another actress, but you named. Did you say the the person that did your hair? Is that is that who it was? Yeah. No. I. You know, it's weird because I don't seem to get close, even though I have you know good working relationships. I seem to get close with uh, a showrunner for my show or hair and makeup. And when I tell you hair and makeup, you get all the teeth. I mean, they tell you everything. You oh, yeah. Everything. Now you're speaking Gail's language. She loves that. I was just going to say, do you know whose makeup I happened to do a couple Ooh. weeks ago? Ooh. Evelyn Champagne King, our sister yes, Evelyn Champagne. Yes, our sister girl. Our superhero, she Girl. <laughs> girl. Taking it down I, and bringing I, it all the way back up. <laughs> yeah. Looks so pretty, of like... course. Gail's the expert. Maybe Gail. Maybe Gail, Aww. you should highlight. Maybe you should um, do your side hustle as makeup on some of uh, these movies and stuff, and then you could be part of her. You know, the the traveling <laughs> crew. <laughs> do you know? I used to do makeup. I used to for Macy's and stuff before I got into all of this in my really? early twenties. I used to be at the counter. I was either going to spray you and spritz you in the eye with some with the with the with the um cologne. So first you'd be blinded. And then when you sit down there, I'd be like doing your makeup. So you wouldn't know what hit you. So see, I, I had a two, I was a two tagger. <laughs> so do, do the guys get their makeup done too? Or is it just the ladies? No, the guys have to be, you know, powdered and everything. So you don't have your shine well, going on. I'll tell you this. I think I told you this, Alicia. One thing that happened to me, and I'll never forget this. I wish I could have taken a picture. There was... There was a, a, a gentleman who came in. He obviously was cross-dressing. And everybody in their base would not wait on him. And he walked up to me. He sat down. And I said, okay, if you're going to be a girl, you have to shave your legs and close your legs. Fold them, okay? And he just sat there and he goes, I don't want to be a girl. He goes, I just love wearing the clothes. I'm like, uh, you know what? Whatever you story you want to spin, I'm just going <laughs> to do it. He said, I'm going to come back in. And when you see me, people say I look like Richard Gere. I am not kidding you guys. The next day, it was packed. We had a big makeup event. I was doing this woman's face, and I remember her face just dropped. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, how could she see? I didn't do anything yet. I felt someone tap my shoulder. I turned around. I almost passed out. He could have passed for Richard Gere's twin. Really? You're like, so fine. Why do you want to dress like this? What? <laughs> it's like I told you, I just, I just love to. It and I'm like, and then of course all the girls from the other day. Are we not? Are we? He's like, no, I'm gonna stand over here with Gail, and I'm gonna talk with her because she showed me kindness. And I was like, nee, 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 nee. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's a testament to awesome. how great the artists are, the makeup <laughs> artists are. You know? Yeah, I mean, I but I do you know a lot of the, a lot of the the, the girls, <laughs> girls. They do that. They will go to Macy's to the makeup counter. Or if you had a serious event and you didn't want to hire a makeup artist, that's what you did. Just yep. walk through and there and ready. Ready. Yeah, come out right. looking like another person, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's another life. They don't do that anymore. But yeah, that's what that's what used to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So or I, I was seeing pictures. You had one of them girls and they would be the makeup artist. I've had that a couple of times right. when you see them. Yeah, they know what to do. 
because they know how to transform a face for real. Oh yeah, they do. What what do they say? It's you get your you get your face beat. Is that what they say? Like they beat oh, your yeah, face to the gods, you get, baby. Yeah. Where are you going? To the gods. <laughs> <laughs> I know about these things. Gail and I love makeup too. So you know. <laughs> hey, I didn't say I didn't like makeup. I know. Well, you know, Richie, Richie likes it. I don't know how much he wears yeah, it. Got my four lip glosses on standby. Oh, that's not scary. No, I do like dressing up on Halloween, though. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I love dressing up. I don't know what that means. And dressing I, up. I would like as... to see the evidence of that. I like to be. I like to be sexy. That's the only way I like to go. Right now. No, we've entered a new zone here. Everybody got quiet. Show. And everybody got quiet. So I'm, I'm like, like so what, what does that what mean? Do? So what do they, what do they do? Oh no, I'm not gonna elaborate further. This is, we've got a star with us. I'm curious. So I saw that you were acting. Um, Gail, you told me the the I forget his name, but he's so funny. Um, Talking about the sitter. The sitter. That was it. Genius. Right here. Right now, it's, I got a blurry picture, but I'll I'll share it. I wish I had a better picture than that to share. Yeah, he was talking about the sitter. So is he as funny in person or, or no? He is. He really and he's and he's amazing. Um, you know, the thing is is that being in the business for a long time, you have to kind of recognize when things are happening right before your eyes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was my co-star, but I found out real quick he was actually my boss. And that it was his project. Oh, I found out like in the middle of shooting, I realized he ain't just no regular dude. Like he's he's calling shots. Like so what does that make you know, he's making things producer? happen. He was he was a, a a producer on that on that project, yes. It makes and he might have something to do with the writing too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, but you find out talented. real quick. It's just how things go. You know, all of a sudden, somebody will say, okay, we're breaking now, and we're in the middle of shooting. We're like, what is going on? You know, or somebody's talking about the script, like, you know, in a certain way. It was just, I got the vibe that, okay, this is not, like, regular star power. <laughs> this is a little yeah. something else. And I found out, yeah, he was he was a producer on the project. So I, I notice a lot of actors that seems to be part of their, like they, they want to go that direction, either direct or produce. Has that been something that's only you've smart. ever thought of? I mean, if you have it in your real house, that's only smart, mm -hmm. you know, because then you have a lot more leverage. Mm -hmm. um, but for us, you know, for us artists of color, it's still a really hard road. We still have to really fight really, really, really hard. Um the Woman King, for example, and Viola Davis. Um, amazing, amazing project. I was uh, floored by this movie. And she had to fight tooth and nail and still fighting, you know, um, to get things done the way she wanted to do it. Even though it's her project, it came from her production company. Um, it's hard for us. You know, we have to knock down a lot of doors and and they always say, you know, well, how do we know this is going to make money? How do you, you know, like we're the first to ever do it. And it's like proving yourself over and over and over again, even though there's box office receipts that say, you know, people like us. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's amazing that there's so disparity. Even here and overseas. Mm -hmm. So it's like every time we do a project, especially when there's money behind it, you have to prove yourself over again and over again and over again. Yeah. So yeah, like that can be tough. Yourself because you are amazing. Mm -hmm. And not only are you amazing with your directing skills, your one woman show. And for those of you who tuned in, I think it was a couple of months ago on the Gail Scott Key Entertainment Show, you saw me tear up. You never see me tear up when I have this amazing woman on my show. Well, I did because we had a chance to get real. And Alicia did something that in all the time of me knowing her, she never did before. And she had read her poem. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just a poem. It was a series of poems that she collects. And her one woman show is one that is unforgettable. And it's something that we were talking about. And with that said, Alicia, I still, Dan thought I got beat up. He was like, what's the matter? Did you get something funny? 
What's the matter? I said, my girl got hold of me and, and you caught the essence of my heart in such a way that it shook me, especially when you were talking about in the church and you were talking about, I see you. I see where you are. I'm not even going to try to emulate because you do it in such a fantastic way. And this is why it's no surprise that you are the wonderful actress that you are. They say that you're up, you're upcoming. We talk about on the show stars to keep an eye out for, but Alicia, you have been the backbone of several amazing films like The Mysteries of Laura, uh, Desperate Housewives. You're versatile. What is it that you, my dear, now working with Jennifer Lawrence, she's going to see this as well. What are we going to see as far as for the depth going a lot further that you haven't gone? Because my there's writing. A- my mm-hmm. writing. Yeah, it's um, you're going to make me cry now. <laughs> um, the the second <laughs> half of my life, I get to share my stories. Um what I read to you was uh, from my short um, called Four Women. Um, and it was four, it was, it came out of four monologues. Um, and so I wrote a short. And so um, somebody I know has a production company and they said, we want a feature. So, so I'm back in the drawing board uh, writing the feature of the short um, out of those monologues. Um, I also have a project called Facade that's being circulated right now. Um, it's a TV episodic. Um, it's a huge leap of faith. Um, it, it's, you know, they're my babies. Um, and it's hard, you know, it's hard to trust people with your babies. Um, but I have to, I have to release them you know, somebody has to, has like, you know, I, I never shared that with anybody really actually um, until very, very recently. So nobody knew I wrote like this, you know. Um, I did, you know, when, when, in the time of what they call it, a spit, you know, when you get up and you do poetry and stuff. So I, people have heard some of my words in that when I would spit around town. When I first got to New York, there were clubs that you can go and do poetry. They're not as prevalent now. But yeah, writing is my next. And it's so funny about my one woman show because somebody just asked me about it. I can't say a whole lot about it um, because it's very, very preliminary. But it's come up about three times that people want to see me do it. Um, and um, some people in Canada said, we want, we think we might want you to, you know, do it up here. So like I said, I can't talk a lot about it, but um, that, yeah, my writing is, is my next. Yeah. You're incredible. And, and for a lot of people who didn't know, she's also been a backup singer, Mary J. Blige. She has lent her vocals to some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry. So I'm wondering, are we, uh, I've never heard you sing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you, you know, music, birthday cast, never heard you sing. <laughs> music was my first love. Um, mm. And, and music, music really moves me um, greatly. Uh, and so funny because my vocal coach way back in the day said she never had anybody who had an ear like mine, except for Barbara Streisand. And I thought that was a complete honor because it's one of my heroes. Um, But yeah, music is definitely my first love and my first introduction into entertainment. So I didn't go to acting first, even though my dad was an actor before me and that's what I was introduced to. I was actually introduced to music first. And I was an artist, a gospel artist, and then started managing artists. So I had a very good, you know, dichotomy of, you know, as being an artist and the business part of the, but my, my parents always taught me about the business. Um, So I have a vernacular in regards to business as well. That's helped me uh, through some things like, you know, (laughs) it's it's getting me out of some trouble. Yeah, you there's something of yours. A re, re, there's a relation. She's in my living room, but you're related to her because I told you I got her from okay from Amazon. Yes, I collect Barbies. What what of it? What oh of it? Oh my gosh! Do you know what I just Ella got? Fitzgerald. Yes, Ella Fitzgerald is my Ella cousin. Fitzgerald is 
and hello and and, and Paul and the amazing Paul Winfield is my cousin as well. Yes, That's my dad. Right. Yeah, my That's dad's cousin. Right. Yeah. Um, um, that is royalty right there. That yeah, is royalty. It is. And my dad, my dad it was an amazing, amazing um actor as well. Um, but you do you know what I got though in the mail today? What? My my credit card's ready, baby. Come on. I got three beauties today. I got a Koye, Nakia, and Shuri. What? You have to work on them forever, baby. Work on them forever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have them displayed somewhere? I, I just I just put them up. I'm not in that. Usually, I'm in that room recording, but because I came over, I can't wait to watch it next. In the box, you're an amateur. I'm a Marvel. Yes, I got this. You, you better hurry. You better hurry because the price is going up as we speak, and they haven't even hit the shelves yet. Yeah, you got it on the early run. membership. I know when to hit. I just got those babies oh in goodness. today. Wow. I mean, <laughs> you already had that Christina. That is amazing. When, when Christina heard Mary J. Blythe, she just woke up like, she's like, I know you're a huge Mary J. I didn't know I even <laughs> sang to it. Is there anything you don't know? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know? She does I everything, my dear. She does everything. And that is why I love, I love, I love when you come on because you know something you just... It's been how many years that we have known each other now? It is. Oh been... my gosh! It's, we've been it's... we've been riding with each other pretty hard. Yes, and you have been one of the biggest supporters of my show. Which, to the bottom of my heart, I, I'm. This is this is home. This is my this is my girl. This is my how girl. How did y'all meet? Yeah. How did you meet? Here. Oh. Here. Okay. We did. Yeah. We I did. did. And that's it. That's all. It was true love from the first time. And then we get the Barbie doll. It was. It was. I'm Barbie. <laughs> that's wonderful. Well, I, I feel so We actually, to be a part of Alicia this. and I actually had a little show together. We had a little show together called Girl Chat. Yeah. I yeah. Like she, that. She, we, I still have the segment Girl Chat. And we still have the music. Mm -hmm. She would try to, she would try to like make me laugh. And I'd be like, we're going to be serious. And she's like, what? Yes. So Gail, do you sing too I, or no? Have, do you um, sing too, Gail, or no? I can sing so low, so low, no one can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy to see you kicking it with our girl. I was like, I know y'all are having fun. I would love to have been a fly on the wall. I wish you were because the security guards were in their 90s. Bless their little heart. I'm like, who are you going to stop? Because there's nobody. And then then uh -huh. she tells me to go out into the crowd just so you can picture. It's like up to a thousand people that can hold into this little Irish pub in, in Roxbury. And she's like, go out there and get my mic. So I go up to the front of the stage and, and Freddie's up there, her wonderful husband, Grammy Award yes. winner, legend, Freddie Fox. He gives me the mic. And all of a sudden, it was like I was holding this torch, you know, the Olympic torch. Everybody's yes. just looking. Where is she going? And then I go and get her. And at first, she's holding on to the back of my shirt, you know? So oh. I'm thinking, okay. And I'm trying to weave through people. And you then people are just trying to, you, you, did you, If you saw my shoes, girl, I'm playing. I'm like, mm -hmm, come on now. So then all of a sudden, people are coming closer to her because they just love her. Evelyn is a true performer, and she loves her fans. And Boston is where she got her start. And her brother, Johnny, is also in my in, in our church. So we're all in the same church. Yes. So next thing I know, it went from holding the back of my shirt to grabbing my hand real tight. I'm like, okay, we just went into DEF CON, move it up. So I'm like, <laughs> walking real fast. You know, went from security to backup singer in two seconds, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. And dancer, backup dancer also. Exactly. I do it all now. <laughs> The first part sounded like a boxer about to go into a fighting match. It sounds a little scary, you know, like crowds right? coming in. You kind of, you know, but. I know. I know they're patting, they're, they're like patting her and then they're patting me and they're like, good job, good job. I'm like, I I'm doing nothing. And then I, I just came here, you know, because my sis said, come on out. You know, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> but it was. It was so amazing. 
it, fans can it, be so amazing. They really are. And and you know something? It's just to see the heart that she has being in the business for as long as she has. And it's yeah. the same thing with you. You have that love and that humility and you just embrace us. And every time I talk to you, sis, I find out something new and exhilarating about you that I just put in my heart and I'm like, mm, that's a key. Don't that's make her read the monologue. You're going to make me cry. Yeah. No. Oh my you God. Know His mascara is going to run. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's yeah. going to I'm I'm really excited about about where I'm going now. Um, it's a new territory, but um, I'm really really excited about you know when you ask God to expand your territory, Gail, you know, yeah. increase my territory. Um, I feel like that's that's what's happening. So um, I'm gonna go home after I shoot and everything. Like before Thanksgiving, I'm gonna go home. And get loved on and stay with my mom for a couple of months. And then we're going to be right back mm -hmm. at it, you know. Yeah. Oh, and your mom can pick it up on those Sundays. I saw her. I'm going to be praying She's together. She's a cute girl. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get some treatments. My mom out here looking like a snack, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. You can have girl time and start getting those treatments. Yeah, <laughs> yes. because my sister-in-law, should I put that out in the in the ether? My sister-in-law, Sydney Powell, has her own um boutique and she does treatments. She oh. a, 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 an esthetician. Or, uh -huh. you say that? Yep, yeah. esthetician. Yeah. She got a whole big old machine, honey, that'll zap your zap your wrinkles and Make you look like you're 20 when you're 102. She is doing the darn thing. <laughs> Where is she located? Where is she located and what's the name? She's looking, she's located in Los Angeles in the valley. Okay. Oh, then that's mm -hmm. not gonna be cheap. See, I would I would go and there'd be a thunderstorm and I get zapped all right. Okay. And a little hit like that. Come on, okay, you look young already, Gail. Gail already you has the need, fountain of youth. You don't need a Gail. <laughs> Look at the, look, Bless look, their heart. Look, what? It, they don't know. If you went into my medicine cabinet, you know what? I have all the J-Lo, the new J-Lo skincare <laughs> products. And and I, I put on her mask and I was like, okay, this is starting to like tingle around the lips and stuff, but it's good. It's good. I, I, want, <laughs> around the lips. <laughs> I was like, I don't need, mm -mm, mm -mm, we know. Mm -hmm. We just so, grow beards. That's what we do. We just grow beards. That's how we hide. So funny. I right. can't feel my face right now, but I look cute. <laughs> That's right. I look 10 years younger. Yeah. yeah. The weekend. You, I can't feel like my the, face. It feels like the floodgates are kind of opening up for you now. You know, so I'm glad. Yeah, you're That's what it feels mom. like. You know, That's so. what it feels like. And yeah. I have to say that I have some people in my corner who have loved on me. Um, there are some people in my corner who want to see me win. Um, there's some people who right believe that that I haven't um, gotten what's due me, and they're fighting very hard for me, and that is such a blessing. That is that is such a blessing, uh, especially when you pour out to people, and then you you know you get it back. And um, I'm in I I feel like I'm in the second half of my life right now where I get to see the glory of God. So I am, I'm excited about, I'm so excited for, for me to share these stories um, for, um, for four women, for Facade, for uh, Madam Joy. That's another TV project that I have um, that I'm working on. And then I'm going to kick ass with Charlie that's going to be huge. It's going to be so huge. It is like mind boggling, but I know how this business goes. So I am, that's saving that in my back pocket. That's the, that's my ace. You know, when you, you know, you roll a Boston, you know, you pull that last card up, bam. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my, oh, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to be a writer and, um, and a producer. And to hire my friends 
And I'm excited about that part now, which is coming from a totally different power perspective. Yeah. Um, because just as an artist, it doesn't feel like it's enough, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm after being in the business 25 years now, I need some of that. <laughs> it's your time. It's your time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you're not lacking and, in talent, I'll tell you that. One woman show, backup singer, man. Yeah. Glad you get actress, writer, exactly. Exactly. I mean, and yeah, that's just the artistry because you know yeah. I, gal gal knows you know i also was 25 years in the game as a nurse as yeah. a licensed nurse yeah. um i uh, i was a private investigator back in the day what? um i Watch am out, so, I'm, mm -hmm. yeah i'm currently <laughs> a, a i currently am a certified doula and certified lactation counselor and certified herbalist helping the mommies and the babies um and fighting for, you know, uh, birth equity. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. But you know wow. something? You have been in a place where you are blessed and you know something? It always comes to this. We run out of time and I'm so sorry, but we have. And that just means that Alicia comes back because she's going to be talking to us about her movie, what it was like working with Jennifer Lawrence. Was she hot? Was she cold? And I'm not talking about the actress. I'm talking about the atmosphere. So don't be quoting me. All right. Y'all know how I play. Anyway, I love you, my dear. I am so happy and so proud of you. I always have you in my prayers and God has the timing and his timing is right now. And that is so evident. So just stick close as you always have. And I am so excited to see all these wonderful things happening to you. Alicia Joy Powell in the house for Gail Scott Keys Entertainment now. And also real quick plug you guys before I forget, do not forget alicia you need to get these two because simone gordon she is the ceo they call her the black fairy godmother because of all the wonderful things that she has done in new jersey well guess what black fairy godmother <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well you make sure that you get your gown and get your tickets because she's gonna be speaking and presenting for the third annual purple diamond awards at Newark Museum of Arts. Tickets are on sale now, so please visit www.eventbrite.com. We had the pleasure of speaking with CEO Simone Gordon, and she will be shoulder to shoulder with musical guests Kenny Lattimore and Jeff Red, November 5th at 6 p.m. I'll be wearing my gown. And we also want to say, Angelo Ellerby, you deserve your diamond. Thank you for all the wonderful things that you do in the community and then some. And my girl, Alicia Joy Powell, thank you for everything that you do in being on the set with us as well. And on behalf of my co-hosts, the lovely, beautiful Christina Millsaps and Richie Rich Mangia, join us next week on Gail Scott Key's Entertainment Now. Mm -hmm.